I was interfering. Yeah, things have changed so Nobody much. knows another life, boy. I'll tell you that. Nope. There's, yeah. There's, yeah, they, they'll never be able to tell of the future. But keep in mind, you're here to learn. That's why you're here. Yep. Very true. You know, you people are not aware of that always, but that's everything's a lesson. Yeah. Everything is a lesson. And if you don't learn the lesson, you know, then you get it again and again and again. Over and over and over. Right. For sure. Which we see, you know, in some people. But we we are here voluntarily because we want to move further along. And it's it's really not that complicated. I did I ever tell you that I saw the orb? No. What? I mean, if, oh, I have, well, that was, I don't, I'm not the kind of person who's had a lot of evidence in physical ways. And I had a friend, a close friend who died. And shortly after her death, I was going to bed and we had a dark bedroom. We had blackout drapes. My husband was already in bed. And I walked into the room and there was a light, a light came floating around. <laughs> And so I said, oh, that star. And I said, I'm going to sit here and see what she wants. And, uh. Like, what the light look like? Just like a. Just, it was, it was, it was, they call it an orb. I right? didn't even know anything about orbs when I saw it there. So okay. Then I heard, but it, that was very common. But it, it was, it was, and all of a sudden it just went boom. She was but checking it was up on you? was her way of letting me know. Because we used to have these kind of talks. Right. She and I, you know. And so it was just her way of letting me know we were, see you later. It was kind of her goodbye. Yeah, well, I was. Has, it, is it, can you, have you seen another one since? No. No, no and she no. just died recently, like close oh, no, to that day? No, no, she did a long time ago. But, and this happened a long time ago. The orb, though, when you saw the orb, it was it um, real close to her passing? Real what? Was it real close to her when she passed, yes, when you saw it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because I've heard of that, the orbs are, you know, they're, it's like an energy or whatever, or spiritual energy. I, I, but I had never heard the word orb for some reason. I just saw this little ball of light, and then it just went poof. It wasn't like a mirror reflection or anything? No, it was no like, there was no mirrors in my room. Wow. Nothing in there. Blue light, white light, what kind, anything? White just, light, white light, you know, white light. Well, that's really but, but neat. That, but you know, we have that's that, that's showing. The other thing that happened, and I think I told you this, that you know, was when I had the blowout in my rear tire when I was on the went to the freeway, and my car went through four lanes of traffic without hitting anybody. I hit. I had my head down, so I thought I'm I'm dead, you know. Right. And I looked up, and all four lanes was stopped. That's wild. Yeah. When do you ever, usually you just see a pile up or whatever. Right. I mean, I expected I'm dead. You know. But I looked up and there they were. All of this, all the lights watching. Guy came along and, oh, and, and, and oh, he, I could drive the car to the, to the you know, by the fence. And, you know, on the, on the Cause you didn't hit anything. No, no, nothing. All right. I so. should have. I had a blowout. Right. I spun through the air. Sixty miles an hour. Yeah. Wow. And 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 a guy came along, changed my tire. The whole thing would have taken more than ten minutes. Wow, that's fast. You know. That's fast. But that that that's it's impossible to think that was accidental. Yeah, a little angel looking after you. No. The guardian angel was making it's, sure. It's, yeah, it's protection. Yeah. I don't know what people do who don't have some belief system. It's hard for me to imagine because life is so you know interesting. And if you but like Bill Maher, I don't know if you know Bill Maher. Yeah. 
he's an atheist. And I like him, and he, you know, I enjoy listening to him, but he's an atheist. But, man, my father was an atheist. And, and oh, Suzanne father, Summers died today. My father's, you know, he, he thought I was really quaint because I was always somewhat spiritual even when I was very young. And, uh, and he would kind of laugh at me, you know. And I said, well, Dad, if I'm wrong, I'll never know it. But if you're wrong, you've missed the train. Yeah, very true. You, you know, you have nothing to lose. What could you possibly lose? It's, you know, it's incomprehensible. If you just look at your own body, do you know how many systems you have in your body? Yeah, and the other day I thought to myself, how did we learn to speak? It was probably grunts and groans at first. Like, I know, er, that, uh, we're dealing er. with language. Right? How the hell did we learn that? Uh, that I don't know. I don't either. But the body has got all these systems that take care of this and take care of that and turn this into that. You know, it's, it's it, it, absolutely uh, um, amazing. Who does, who, that just happened accidentally? I don't think so. That's, <laughs> that would really be harder to believe. Just accidentally fell in place. But it's interesting. But if you, if you notice, I don't know if you've noticed, but people are, in general, there are more people considering, you know, being uh, interested in this, in what we're talking about than there ha ever has been. Spiritual people, are, you know, I've never had a spiritual thing on my Facebook. I get them all the time now. It used to be you could never, like in the television, you could never mention God, you could never mention nothing spiritual, nothing. And now it's on there all the time. Everybody, you know, one way or the other, you know, the world is changing in a good way. And you can be, and you've got free will, you can do whatever you want. You know? Yeah, that's, it's wild how, like, just language, even starting at language is crazy. Just, how do just, we start it? Just do, but just do what makes you happy, honey. Don't do it for any kind of idea of being safer or wealthier or anything like that. Just what you, just to make wherever you want to be to be happy. Don't compromise. And don't think you're too old to start all over again. Oh, my... Many, many my, people have started a whole new world, honey, in their 40s and 50s. Oh, yeah. I know plenty of people right now that are happen to do that. Right. That are older than me. Just like my boss. Remember I told you I climbed towers? Right. I just heard the other day he walked into work and they're like, we're letting you go. And he, I told him when they let me go, I'm like, why would you work for a company like this? They're not out to help you out. Right. They're helping themselves out. Well, he is so talented. I'm like, you need to start doing what you are good at. Right. And he called me the other day. He goes, Ryan, I should listen to you. And I'm like, what do you mean? He stayed three years longer, getting married in a month, just bought a new house. Right. And they're like, oh, we don't need you anymore. And I'm like, I told you they would throw you to the dumpster. And it happened. But, but that's the way it is. It's crazy. See, if you follow your gut, you're going to wind up in the right place. Devin came over here the other day giving me a preaching. Dad, you're almost 50 years old, and, you know, you, you don't want to move jobs. You got a job. Just stick this one out. I'm like, you're, I'm not happy there. And he's like, well, just stick it out. He's you, not you, honey. I'm like, I'm like, I've overcame a lot worse oh, but and came out a lot better so this ain't nothing you, you learned a lot yeah. more you know obviously he learned what his mother had to teach him yeah not much but well yeah, yeah. I don't want to see him bad it's, but yeah. it, it's just the way it is you know my my one grandson my Robin's son you know I mean he he's dreadful <laughs> he's an awful person. Oh, the younger boy. 
He right in his thirties now. Yeah, that's not he's, young anymore. He's useless. He's he he he's terrible. He's, he absolutely is terrible. Is he still in living the valley? No, he lives out somewhere in South on the way to anyway, not in California but drivable. But he married a woman twenty years. Years oh, ago. that's right. That doesn't like, doesn't let him talk to. It. it holds him captive or something, right? It was, it was, but but he's but he's been lazy. He's been, uh, he's, he's a narcissist. Wow. It was always about him. You know, <laughs> but he doesn't have one little tiny little thing that says maybe I should change here a little bit. Mm -hmm. He was born without that. <laughs> born with it. Born without it. It used to be cute when he was little. Right. It's now not, that he's adult, he's not. He, he says the most terrible things to his mother that, you, you know, she was a terrible mother. She was a great mother. He oh, tells, Robin? Yeah. yeah. she would have been like the mother. Of, she would have oh, been like Juno Moore Cleaver mother, like perfecto, right? Absolutely. And and he told people he never got anything. Everything. Yeah, whatever. I don't believe that shit. I don't know. But, but that's Just knowing thing. Robin myself, like, uh, she was probably a wonderful mother. I know oh, that. Oh, yeah. But, you know, but it, it, anyway, we don't know what we get. But your, your son is a very nice young man, but he does, he's not as smart as you are. Yeah, that's true. I agree. I agree. He, he gave me a as, preaching. He's not as creative as you are. No, and, but he has different. He's, he's such a. He's got a lot of nice qualities. He's a people person. Right. But he's not like me. Like I could, I'd rather be behind the scenes making stuff and letting other people sell it or whatever. Right. And that's what I'm good at doing. He would rather be the guy selling stuff, right. talking to people. You know, and like right. that's good. He's good. He's got my gift to gab. And well, you're not going to change it, so yeah. whatever you might as well accept it. Yep, yeah, I'm going to accept it. He's a good kid. Very good but kid. But he doesn't have the understanding that you have. No, no, no. And, and that's just, that's who he is. Yep, that's very true. And it's probably not a, it's probably not a mistake that he didn't spend enough time with you. I tried, but people got in my way. They are, right. always interfered. I was the harsh dad. And I'm like, no. Hell, I got sent to my uncle's house. He was harsh. I learned a lot, a great thing. But, right. like, man, I'm not even, like, close to that. But, you know, whatever. It's, I just thought school was real important. And he wanted to take the easy road out. Right. Life is very interesting. Yeah, yeah. And nothing, Einstein said, nothing happens by accident. We know exactly what time the sun is coming up tomorrow for the next 100,000 years. Yes, ma'am, you know that right. You know, nothing is accidental. Everything has a reason and a purpose. And the only thing you have to concentrate on is keeping your mind in, in a good place. Don't let the crazies take shock. Yeah, we cannot let that happen. But you, you know, it was tripping that you are not happy there at Trader Joe's. You were doing it, but man, it was taking a charge from you. It, it wasn't, I don't want to say it, it wasn't, um, what do you want to, how do you want to say it, it wasn't, uh, Intriguing enough, not intriguing, but it wasn't um it wasn't creative exactly. enough. But you're basically a creative person. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm always but making you know, stuff. You're not a nine to five person. No, I could. I was thinking last night. I could never work in an office. Never have right. I ever. Right. But yes, I could are. never work in an office. Right. And I know friends of mine that have worked in offices at the same desk for twenty years. Right. And I'm like, how the hell do they do that? It, right, everybody, you know. But it was obvious that what what maybe see we you know, it's sort of a story. The fact that you took that job and did it, you know better now. Oh yeah. Yes, I do. You needed to know that there was more to life than bringing home a paycheck. 
Yeah, that was. We, but see, but if you do the right things for was yourself, a, the money comes. It was a big weight off my chest. Oh, I don't know how you stood it. But yeah, you're right. I even talk. Think I even, my voice is different. Everything's just I'm like. Sure. It was great. You were basically depressed. Yeah, I was. Right. But Everyone you, like, do you like your job? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I can deal with it. Right. I right. was, I was just dealing with it. Right, but you were depressed. It, 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 it was, it was against everything you really believe in. You don't even know what you. Believe. I would much rather sweat and make something than be in air conditioning and fake a smile all day. It, it, it was. It, the, the company, I mean, they're doing great, honey, but they have really no caring about their. They're they're ruining people. Oh yeah, well they don't care about their people. I know, obviously. You know, the, se the scheduling that they have is a killer. Yeah, and just the people that are so fake and happy there, and but they're stealing from there. Right. I was like, how is that? Right, because they have... And they can steal easy from there. It's so easy to steal. And right. people told me, and I was like, no, that's, that's not my... that's all they got going for the money. Yeah. Everybody, you know, it doesn't come out the same. Yeah. Fortunately... We learn to accept the idea that we do what what works for us. Yeah. That's... You know, like when I got my divorce, I was married for what twenty years. Were and you happy to get divorced? I, and and it was not it was never a bad marriage, but my husband was just the, he had no, I, and it wasn't his fault. He was, but he had no way of giving me any kind of. Uh, attention, right? Reciprocation. Or, you know, and I he, and I understand why because of the life he had. But you know, and so I was dying inside. I used to think to myself, "You, Brown, you're really crazy. You've got a good husband, and he was a good husband. You've got two children. You've got a beautiful home, a beautiful car. You have everything you need, and you're depressed." Right. But it never occurred to me why I was depressed. I was depressed because I was getting nothing from him, you know. Because he was a workaholic, huh? He liked he, to work? He, he couldn't help it. He didn't know how to give attention. Because you said he worked till he got he, a, he wanted his city. pension, and then right, and, and, and all right. of a sudden. He was dead at 53. And like he got his pension, and it was like walking all those times, and then all like right. poop, gone. Gave a really good job that would have been so much. You know, he would have been happier better. with, right? Stayed with the city, which he didn't particularly like, because it was us going to get your pension. That's what they work, they slave for all the years. Oh God, no! But it's interesting what the, you know, the situation that people get themselves into. You know, they follow the wrong thing. You gotta follow what you feel. You gotta follow, you know, you can't let anything change that. But when I left, I started to tell you, when I left my husband, it was like, I can't do this anymore. You know? I just can't, I'm, I'm starving to death for for some attention. He, we, But he wasn't unkind. It was, but there was no affection. There was no, you know, he, remember what, one year we came home on Valentine's Day and bought me a paper, white paper bag with licorice. For, that tells you who he was. No flower? Valentine's Nothing. Day, no flowers? Nah, that was it. Flowers would have been better, wouldn't it have been? Uh, anything would have been better. Than yeah. licorice? Were you a licorice I, girl, I though? Like you like licorice? Oh, that's you. What the hell? <laughs> That's funny. But it was, you know, it was convenient. I thought you really might have liked licorice. And no. I would have been like, well, he knew what you liked. No, You're like, I didn't no. even like that he, stuff. He, he, right, he, that, that was his, he used to shop for my Christmas present on Christmas Eve. Oh, man, that's, but I, uh, okay, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to stick up for him. It's hard to get presents for people that are really content and, like, you don't know what but, to right, give people. But, but, you, but it doesn't have, to, it's not that difficult. It's, it's It comes from the heart. Yeah, you're right. It can be right. anything. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be gorgeous. It has to be, I've always wanted that. Yeah. 
he or she is going to love that. I always listen during the years, this in the year between Christmases. I try to, my mom never says anything she wants, but I always try to listen like, oh, I need that or whatever, you know? Right. So some years I've been like, I don't know what to, I'm stressed out and it but stresses would, me she, out. You see, she wouldn't care. She wouldn't care. She'd take anything as long as from her but son. She, that's not where she lives. That's right. You know. And I and I took what my husband did for 20 years. But it, we, we never fought. That's great. That's great. You know. It's like, you know, those guys that are like, yeah, my kids got me a tie the last 10 years. Right. Because I, I don't care. Christmas to me is like for kids, but it's nice to get some. So I usually... It's a thought. I usually just go buy myself something. And right. like my one wheel, my little skateboard thing I ride, right. well, I bought that for myself. Good. I just do it. And once a year, I go buy myself something nice and but I'm if, happy. You know, if, you have a, if you have a mate, someone you love, you know, and you would know this, you would know that what you would want to do is think of something that would make your wife smile. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was always pretty good at getting presents for my, my right. ladies, but right. my mom's just so damn hard and she's so content. Because she doesn't really want anything. Exactly, but I'm like, yeah. you need shit, mom, you just don't say it. It's not where she lives. Yeah, very content. But but you you I'm very glad you made this change because you could have fallen into that trap. Yeah, some people have been there 35 years, man. Oh. I was not into that. I was like, I could not be here. I'd drive myself freaking nuts. I changed jobs when I was I did I didn't work for a long time when I was married, but and when the kids got a little bit older, <laughs> I would get crazy jobs just for fun. And, uh, What's your craziest job you ever had? I was selling uh, tap dancing what? classes to children. I okay. Before. That's wild. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? How old were you when you did that? I said, well, I had my kids were all, you know, I don't know. I must have been... 40? No, no, no. Probably. 20? 25, 80, maybe 30. Okay. Selling tap dancing lessons for was, kids. You know, but I, but I just, and then I went. To, I told you, I told you, I went to work for a guy at Montgomery Wards in the credit department because I had done credit. In the what department? Credit. Okay, my grandma worked for Montgomery Wards for years. Yeah, I I did a lot of credit work. So, and he, so I got this part time job because I my kids were in school and I was bored, and uh, so. He had an office like down there, like we like where the TV is. That was a window, and there were two rows of chairs in front of him, where everybody worked, and he watched everything you did. <laughs> Nobody even said hello in the morning or goodbye. Nothing. So one day I was I went I was we well, just worked part time, and I was rushing around and I got home, and I was going to be late for work and I thought, what am I doing? I'm quitting. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> and so he he ran across me in, his, in Sears, and I was at that time demonstrating curlers for people's hair. And he said, oh, "You know, why did you? Why did you? You know, why did you leave? What happened?" And I said, "It's okay." Like, They're like, don't worry about don't it. Worry just, about just enjoy your you day. No, you wouldn't even understand where I'm coming. From. That's hilarious. And so you moved on to selling curlers. Oh, I did so many things, so many little things, you know. Well, mostly while my kids were little. But well, just, just to like, just to, to get a rise, get house, just know? to get out of the house. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. And then you know, then I, I ran across these different kinds of people. And life changed. But yeah, I, the pictures you showed me, you ran across oh, some neat people. Oh, yeah. You were back in the, like, see, that was, movie just days. Like, just like, and like you were doing now, I could have stayed in that marriage. True. You know, for his sake. Yeah. I would have gotten a pension. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't. I just, I just went. Oh, when he passed away, you would have collected the pension. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, but that's not you. Oh, you're no, too no, wild. But I'm just saying that, that was what I was faced with, just like you're now faced with the same thing. I want to go do something I don't want to do, you know, and so I, that's what I was doing. Okay. I'd rather sweat all day long and, like, make something than right. fake it like I did. But you want to follow your heart. See? Yeah. For with me, it was always about people. You know, I always loved people. And... Uh, my and my husband was absolute. We we never had company. You know, we never had you. He, he didn't like company. Oh, uh, that's so unlike you. I could picture you doing dinners and right, right. catering and like, come on, we're gonna have right, some no, tea no. time. No, the only thing he did socially was he did like to play bridge, and so he would play bridge. But, but 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 it was, I know, interesting. You know, when he was when he would do something social, he was the happiest, gayest guy in the world, right? You know. But the next time he said, "I want to do something," I'm so and so is having a real good. I don't think so. I think I'm I'm got a migraine headache. What's that excuse? Migraines. <laughs> That's why he didn't go. I got a migraine. And football. I mean, he was. It, you know, football, he watched from the first game to the last one in the season. Oh, man. He used to tell the kids, if you get sick, get sick at halftime. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> get sick at halftime. But, because he's not, you're going to just lay there sick during the game. He would say, I'm sorry, but I can't breathe now. I can't. I have my... Right. And he and he really you know he really kind of screwed Robin up because she was a little overweight and some it was not early but later on and he began noticing it and making remarks about it and encouraging her to stop eating and and he created a real problem. That's hard on kids. Oh yeah, you know, that's really hard. On some kids. Now his yeah. son, is, you know, wonderful. Yeah, but... his son. His son was a narcissist of all narcissists. My poor son. And an alcoholic. But a working alcoholic. But, you know, life is very interesting. But, we, see, if we go with our heart, if we go with what we really want, it's always going to be right. You know, if we do something for somebody else to be happy, or because we think whatever, it never works. Uh, so you're in a good place. You gotta I'm, do it by yourself. You gotta do it for yourself for sure. You are the most important person in your life. Yes. And, and no one else is gonna look after if you. you. But if you don't do the right thing for yourself, you screw up the system. Yep, very true. Very true. Because that's what, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you got to. And that's do... how we spoil kids and stuff. You see, if we don't do what's so right for ourselves. Bad. So bad. Yes, I went to my friend's house today. Yeah, I was like, man, you gotta let that kid get to work. Yeah, but life is very interesting, and you, I think you now have a grand future. You weren't gonna have a grand future. Trader Joe's. No, but the money, saving the money helped. Oh, but that was fine. That did help a lot. Yeah, but, right, but but that but that that's fine. That served a purpose. I just need to really buckle down tomorrow. I'm gonna really get on doing some, you know, trying because right. I need an extra job. Just what I'm doing now, an extra job just will help out a lot. Right. But we'll now, figure do it out. Ever go into the studios or not? When you yeah. go in. Yeah, yeah. I've been. It's just right now they're waiting on a contract. Best, so, best but I went in another night for four hours. I went in another night. Oh yeah, for like What's five you? hours. It's a. It's not the studio. Oh no! I oh like Warner Brothers or any of those. I don't go into like those studios. Okay. They all have buildings okay. out. They have subcontractors. That's right. They're subcontracted. So I'm subbed. It's a sub down. Right. So. Because you know that world is. It's really pays, neat. It pays good. And, and the other part of that world is that the people are creative. Yeah. Yeah. And you can always find a job. That's that's one thing that like. Right. I did. Uh, and I, I did do it. Fun. And, they're, and they're my type of people. They're self-centered, most of them. 
but they're my but type of people okay. and that's what I enjoy being around it's right. like someone who's really proud of what they do right right what are they doing but you there? got a new start honey I'm really glad oh me too I'm totally stoked and it's and just just remind yourself constantly it's gonna work you know you did the right thing yeah what is this X federal agency sees X you want to see what it, what it is? Oh, oh, yeah, it's okay. I was just wondering what that X is on the Hollywood sign. 